All right, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's Mike Morgan here from Morgan Designs, and I'm going to put together a little photo bash scenario for you here in uh, Photoshop. If you're not familiar with what photo bashing is, I wasn't either until uh, I heard some people like Dominic Clarks talk about it. And uh, well, what do you do? Is you take Photoshop and you take some random pictures and you kind of splice them together and do digital paint overs until you create something new that's a new concept. So I'm in Photoshop right now. What I was thinking we'd do is do like a, an assault uh, off-road vehicle and um, I'm thinking I'm going to use a sand rail. Now if you don't know what a sand rail is, it's like an off-road vehicle and so what I, I've just done is gone to Google here and I'm just gonna pick I'm gonna pick something here that would look cool and we're gonna modify and paint on it and I wanna find something that's kinda like a three-quarter pose three-quarter view maybe something like this that would be pretty sweet that could be cool um, so that we'll keep that one. Think about that one. This would be a good one too to start with, although the wheels cut off. You want to get something with the full full frame in it. This one's neat because it's not really recognizable. It's also very large. See over here it says uh, 4096. It's a pretty large image, so that'd be pretty sick. Um, there's another shot of it. I wonder if this gets clear if I open it up. Um, do we like that? You know what? We're going to try something else. I know of this company that makes cool sand rails called Fun Co. Yeah, they got some they got some cool ones here. All right. Let's see here. Do we see anything cool that we want to use? I know I want a three quarter view. Something like this would be sweet. Okay. So it's about 500 pixels, um, 550. If I could get something a little bigger, that'd be great. Let's see here. Let's see here. And, and obviously this one keeps coming back at me, so this one keeps jumping out at me. So what I'm going to do is uh, save this image and I'm going to just save it to my desktop. And so what we're going to do is mess with this thing, paint on it, add stuff to it, and uh, turn it from a photo into our own little concept art. All right, so I just got to get it off my desktop here. I don't even see it anywhere here. I'm looking for it. Where'd it go, bro? Where's it at? Let's try that again. It didn't go very well. Save image as. What happens if you do copy image? Copy image. And then we'll paste it. Is that gonna work? Yeah, we got it on there. but does it blow up to a decent size? Pretty good, pretty good. All right, so cool, we got that. I think what I'm gonna do right away is um, just start painting on it a little bit, just to kind of give me a direction of where we wanna go. And um, 
I'm seeing that we could add some panels and whatnot here just to kind of give you guys an idea I'm going to take some of the color from over here and boom we've got the beginning of our paint over okay So we're already getting already getting something there. Alright. Yeah, and then we'll just uh, start adding some cool stuff to this. What I'm doing is sampling like some of the darker colors. Maybe put a little detail in there right off the get go. Like that. So this is like vent type things. some vent action going on here I'm just using the round round brush right now so we got that and let's see we can I think it'd be cool if we took out this background right off the right off the beginning here So I'm going to go ahead and take my selection tool selection and just select all this stuff out of here I'm going to get this going I know I'm not going to keep a lot of this so I shouldn't be too careful about it Okay, so now we're starting to isolate, isolate this. I got my eraser. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get up and around these lights a little bit. I don't even like I said. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep them, but if I want to, at least I got them ready to go. As far as having the background knocked out. Crappy job. Right. And we are photo bashing, so we gotta be kind of fast. Also, it's 11:30 at night, and I gotta get up at 5:30 <clears throat> in the morning to go to my day job. I'm a designer at my day job, so I have to pay attention and do math and stuff and spell things correctly and all that so I gotta be able to use my brain at least halfway decent know what I'm saying alright so busting that out and you know what would be cool is if right off right off the gates here if I just add a sick looking windshield It's going to be kind of like a wrap around the windshield. Alright. And the windshield's going to look like it's going to have Okay. A little bit of sky reflection. shiny so I'm gonna have a little bit of 
highlights coming in here. Maybe a little, little more hit of a straight up blue. Okay, so we've got some, got some windshield in there. Now I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like a visor, visor looking thing. So we're starting to turn this, and the goal is when I'm done, that we'll have this like unrecognizable vehicle. And we're using a lot of the pose and mechanics of this existing photo, but turn it into our own beast. So this is just good. This is like practice for you to, so that when you want to paint this stuff, you kind of know how it goes. It just gives you like training on shapes, what looks cool, and you're taking the ideas from real life objects. So speaking of real life objects, Part of the point, part of the point of doing a photo bash is to take um, objects from the real world, and so we need to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and merge these together, that side panel, and uh, put a little bit of this. See how that highlight just kind of pops those edges out, makes it just a little bit more believable. Right? And then that, I noticed that edge looks kind of harsh. So I'm going to tame it down a bit. That looks way more believable. A little reflection of the ground, maybe. In there. Get a harder brush. Just hit that bad boy. All right. Looking pretty tight. Looking pretty tight. And okay. Now, what I say we should do is uh, put like a gunner or something on the top. Like a gunner would be sweet. So I want to grab my Google Images and let's see. Let's see what we can get going, dude. Let's see what we can find. If I just hit a gunner. You gotta find something that has like kind of similar perspective. Take a look at your, your drawing. We're gonna look for some sort of gun that would look tight. Right. Gunner in a um, B, um, turret, turret gunner in a Humvee. How about that? What if we found, ooh, what about homeboy right here? What about homeboy right there? Let's look a little further though. See what else we can find. We got to use an American too, because I'm American. Support the troops. All right. 
I was liking that first one. Where's he at? Up here. Wow. Some sweet stuff. Okay, so I'm looking for a gunner that would look good at the top. I thought I'd have one. Uh, let's see, he's got to be pointing the right direction, or at least, at least to where I can mirror it. If he's not, it's got to have some sort of similar perspective. Load some more results, yo. Where's all my gunners at? Where's all my gunners at? That'd be pretty nice if it didn't have kids. Alright, this is perfect right here. Copy image, but we'll see it's, if it's perfect. Where's my paste? Yeah, Control V. I could do that. All right, so homeboys back here. We'll set them in there. see what happens. Alright. Alright. So I'm going to take some of this action, see what this, this tool can do for me. Let's see if I can get this. So this is the magic wand, if you don't know. Sometimes it jacks things up pretty good though. A lot of times I'll just do this by hand. Let's see how it does. I can clean it up later too. All right, so getting that dialed up. Okay, look at that. So maybe I take, to have some uh, continuity, I'll take the shield that he's got, a green one, and I'll do it like the same color as the rail. And like I said, I'm just doing this to um, practice it's just about practicing for shape with shapes and try to train your brain to think a little bit differently than you normally would have like if I would have tried to think of this myself I probably probably wouldn't have been able to because you know I don't draw I wouldn't have thought of these mechanics, you know, I wouldn't have thought it, actually, I know I wouldn't have thought of this little shield thing. So that's what's cool about doing this photo bashing. And I shortened the shield so these um, lights would make more sense. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to merge them together. But I'm going to take, I'm going to take these lights and add like another one here. 
Oh, I think there was one there. I just covered it up, though. All right. So we get some lights. And let's see if we could take. Um, what if we made this soldier like a droid? Yeah, what if we did that? So you come in. What if we did, uh, let's have like a sweet looking droid. Is it gonna be orange? Or should it not be? It's tough to say. Green. And I'm just stealing shadows from the character. So in my mind, this thing would have like this big head looking thing. hands instead of these human hands make him look um, less like a human by having a skinny neck or a small neck. Okay, something like that. And then I'm going to take our eraser tool, give a little shape to this thing. Paintbrush. Okay. So right here, we're just telling the viewers you're not dealing with a human here. Okay, maybe he has um, like one single eye that's very robotic, or three, so as long as he doesn't have two. So we're getting we're getting some sort of fantasy here, some sort of weird worldly creature, not a creature, robot. Okay, couple antennas. Okay. 
Yeah. It's pretty sweet. A little paint job on him. I don't know why I just love uh, the way antennas look. If this was in the future, I'm sure they'd figure out a way to not have antennas, but I think that's sick looking. All right, let's just back up a little, see where we're at. Okay, so I'm seeing um, he needs like a cool, like, probably needs like a cool backpack of some sort. And definitely some more shine on his eyes. Okay. Where's my racer? So we're looking pretty darn good. Digging that, digging that. All right. So homeboy needs a crazy backpack. Maybe not even a backpack, maybe like weapons, something heavy that like a human couldn't carry. Um, Nice side view would be good. Something like this. Let me look at the drawing again. Yeah. Pretty good side view would work. Something that would be kind of high tech looking. The sportsman. Copy the image and we'll paste that sucker. I'm going to select the background, delete it, delete all this white out as much of it as I can. There's a little strip in there I couldn't get to. Just paint it in black. When in doubt, black it out. Alright, so look at that. How are we going to use that? We're going to use it just like this, boys. You may say to yourself, what, dude, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I don't care. I'm going to make it happen, dude. I'm going to make it happen. Now, since that perspective's wrong, I'm just going to force it. So his shoulders are going that way, so I'm going to make his backpack go that way. And what I'll do is tell, tell the people that are looking at this, tell them that this comes like that. Tell them that there's like straps here. So we're just telling a story that's not even real. 
I'm just trying to get people to believe this bullshit. It's all for fun. And I'm going to fill in this. How's my perspective? Pretty jacked, yeah. Fill that all in. To really force that perspective. So his shoulders are going like that, so I kind of want my machine to go like that too. Oh, my cat's on the printer. Don't be running off copies, man. That ink's expensive. Cats are really cool to hang out with when you're drawing. Until they start getting antsy and start like going through stuff. And hitting keys on your keyboard. He hit a key on my keyboard in Photoshop the other day and brought up a window that I've never seen in my life. I was like, how'd you do that? Alright, and again, um, I'm going to take some of this color and just, and then maybe even take some of that, steal that, put a little bit of this in there. And I'm going to make some more like antennas and things. All right. Let's say we're getting somewhere, guys. I don't know, are we? We got to look, we got to sit back and look at it too. into here. Huh, interesting. What time is it? 11.52? Alright. We gotta be in bed by midnight. Or we may just be real bad boys and stay up late. Just be all zombied out tomorrow. I've already worked eight hours today, freelanced, for about four, so that's what, 12 hours, 12 hours of designing, and then now I'm just doing this for practice for you guys, to have fun for me, and for you guys to enjoy it too. Um, so, I love this stuff, dude. I absolutely love it. It's fun. Just can't get enough. So we got, um, we got that there. I think his gun would be cool if it had a couple stripes on it too, just to make it look like it all came from the same place. And instead of that saying sportsman, that needs to say like nothing. All right, and then. grab here. Clone. So I like the way those are. I'm gonna steal a little bit of this gadgetry. Put it in here. I don't know if that works. I don't even care. I'm just doing it. Just trying it. It looks lame, I'll take it out. Alright, it's just something. Alright, and then what else do we need to soup this dude up? Let's work on our